Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's about 9 a.m. here in Belgrade, and I'm outside of uh, Idea London on Kral Molana Street here in a city center. And I wanted to do a video today about how to use the public transportation system because it's kind of hard to find where to get a monthly bus pass. Uh, you can get um, a bus pass at a kiosk, any almost any kiosk on the street, but they're not monthly passes because the monthly passes here, they have to have your photo on them uh, for so you, like two people can't use them. So you have to go to what people always would tell me is the office, the, the bus plus office. And I'm like, well, where is this office? And literally almost no one could tell me. Uh, the blogs didn't say, um, it was very hard to find. It's actually in um, a building that was built uh, in 1969 and completed in 1974. The Biograd Anka uh, Center. Biograd Anka. And it's about 24 stories tall. It's like one of the tallest buildings down here in um, city center. So you come to this building and you go on the second floor and you go in the corner and the bus plus people are there and the card costs about $2.50 or 250 dinar. And they take your photo and they print out the card. Then they tell you to go charge the card at a kiosk. So you need to bring 250 dinar in cash to this office and then go downstairs and go to almost any kiosk some kiosks, uh, maybe their computer's down or they don't know how to do it, but for the most part, like 98% of kiosks can recharge your, your bus card. Now, like I said, there's two types. There's a type that you can buy just off the street at the kiosk and you pay 250 dinar anyways and you charge that card with say like a thousand dinar and in each ride it's about 89 dinar. Um, or you can come down here to the Biograd Anka Center um, and get a monthly pass for, I think it's $33.75 per month. And then you can ride zones one and two. Now some people will say, oh, you only need zone one. Don't do that because zone one is strictly only city center. And if you want to explore the suburbs, you're, you're already out of bounds. So get zone one and two. Um, especially if you're a foreigner, you don't want any problems with what we call control here. And control are the people that go uh, in the buses and enforce the um, that people pay for the buses. And as a foreigner, you just don't want problems because the fine is quite expensive. So just come down here when you first get here and get your monthly bus pass. You don't have to uh, be a citizen or anything like that. You just need to bring your passport. They link your bus pass number uh, to your passport. Um, so definitely bring your passport. But in 250 dinar, and then you come down here and you go to the second floor, which I'll go in and show you. And uh, you just tell them, I just need a monthly bus pass and they speak English just fine. So we're here, let me show you. So it looks like this. Uh, there's another idea store, and idea is a grocery store, but it's underground. And so this is what the building looks like here right now. I'm sure the ad will change, but I can't pronounce that name, but it has a plant uh, outlet. Um, just Google map to Beogradanka Center. And I'll put the text up on the screen and I'll put the Google Maps link in the description. Um, there are other places to get Bus Plus cards, but I don't know where they're at. I've heard rumors, oh, this place or this place, but one of the places that I heard might be demolished soon, so I don't wanna send people there because if you're watching this video in 10 years, it might not be there anymore. So just come down here, it's in city center. Um, if you don't live close to it, then just walk over. Um, just Google Map yourself. So you, you go in and you can take the escalator, but we're gonna take the stairs today because it's right here. So you come in, you go to the left and you go up. 
and it clearly says bus plus is upstairs. So you come up here. Let's see if we can find it again. And then you come in here. Might be up one more level, actually. They're quite hard to find. Yep, second floor. Here we go. I get a little confused here in Serbia because they call the first floor zero, and in America we call it the first floor. So it actually is the second floor. You just get on the escalator, and you come up here. And there's like a, all this place here. There's an electronics store. And there's people waiting today, but when I went there, there was no one. I was like, they served me so quick. So then you come here, you can't read anything on there, but you have to go to the kiosk and you just type in the first one and it prints out a receipt. And then you just wait till your number is called up there and you go to the window and you do your business. And then you just come back down uh, stairs after you're done. And you go to any kiosk you see, the kiosks will say my kiosk and they'll be red on the street. And then you just come down uh, and you tell them you want uh, one month for zone two. And if they don't understand, then use Google Translate on your phone and actually just have it pre-prepared because a lot of the people that work at the kiosk, they don't speak English very well because sometimes they're not from Belgrade. If they're from Belgrade, they usually speak at least a little bit of English, but some of them are from villages and they're working here at the kiosks. Um, but some of them speak great English as well, just hit or miss at the kiosks. So you just go down to the kiosk and it's $33.75. And that's for one month for zone one and two. And uh, zone one and two, you can go actually pretty far outside of city center with that, so that's fine. Zone three is like, I won't say Southern Serbia, but like, it's pretty far. So I hope this video has helped you. Um, I'm gonna go find a kiosk. Well, we don't need to go find a kiosk because, well, there's nothing to charge up. Let me show you what it looks like because I have mine with me. And this is what it looks like, plus plus has your name on it and your picture. And what you do with these is as soon as you board the bus, you just tap and you hold it on the reader until the reader turns green. And if the reader doesn't work or it's not giving you any feedback, then try another reader on the bus. Don't just sit down because in city center, control is very um, common. So, I also want to discuss that there's not just buses. There's buses, uh, trolleys, and uh, light rail. And the difference is a bus is like a CNG or gas bus. Um, and the trolley um, buses are electric. And they look like a city bus, but they have two rods going up into the uh, electrical wires right there, one's passing right now. This is not a bus, they call these trolleys here. So, I was like, it looks like a bus to me, you know? <laughs> but they're like, no, it's trolley. So, remember, uh, a bus is something that is gas-based that goes on its own anywhere. A trolley bus, sometimes they're, usually they're red, they only go on electric wires. And then the trams are like light rail, uh, a light rail system. And those go on tracks and also electrical wires. And I like those the best, to be honest with you, um, because they have new ones and then they have really, really old ones. And I really like the old ones the best because I think they give the city a lot of character. Um, the new ones are nice and they're air conditioned and they're actually a little bit bigger inside, but 
I like the, the historical ones as well. And I hope they keep them running as, as long as they can. So here we are. This is where you come. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'll talk to you guys later. If there's any mistakes or corrections that you Serbians want to make, uh, do it in the comments below. See? These are, this is like a light rail tram here. And the new one went by and the historical one with an ad on it, unfortunately, went by. So, we lucked out today. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, get out to Belgrade if you are not happy with your, your country or your situation that you're in in your country. Uh, we're free as a bird here. We have parties, raves, the cafes are open, everything is open. And there's no uh, ongoing fascism here. So, as you can see, everything is perfect. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now. After a long, hard day of shooting a 10 minute video, I had to come to St. Mark's Place. It's right next to St. Mark's Church, and they have an excellent breakfast. For like $10, this is what you get. I ordered two entrees, and they were a little surprised I did that, but uh, these are like grilled cheese sandwiches with a mayonnaise type sauce. Uh, they served me bread. I got a latte, and also an English breakfast with three eggs, a tomato, or should we say a tomato, and uh, mushrooms, sausage, bacon, and beans. And this is all gonna cost like maybe 10 or $11. And the water was free. So, not a bad deal. So if you come to Belgrade, give this place a, a chance. Um, it's called St. Mark's Place. I wanted to give you guys a little taste of what you're gonna see when you come to the average Belgrade street. There's a money changer. And then you're going to see cafe after cafe after cafe. And they all have their little niches that they do and their little characters. And they're all real nice. They have a street uh, portion, but you can also sit inside as well, if you wish. And so, you'll see a lot of dogs here, like I said in my previous videos. And here, there's a travel agency. These are very common. You can actually go from Belgrade to Egypt for like 400 euros for an entire week and that includes the airfare and it also includes the hotel and the hotels are all inclusive usually in Egypt and uh, I'll say the food's probably not that great but you're not going to die but it is a, you know a buffet style and it's not like a super great I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about it but it's a good deal for 400 500 euros uh, to be able to go to Egypt for a week it's not a bad deal and uh, as you can see Belgrade is constantly improving so there's a lot going on here and Serbia is really on their I, I think they're on their way up when the West is kind of on their way down but yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looks like here. And then every street has a dumpster and if you have something in it, you can uh, just put your foot here and open the dumpster and throw your drink inside or whatever you want. Everything's very clean here for the most part. I mean, it's as clean as it can be for a large city. And then you have little places down here in the basement of the sidewalk and it's like a little cafe bar down there. And I just think this place is great. Actually, I haven't wanted to travel around the region because my life is so satisfying here. There's everything you need here and more. If you like to work out, you have like four good gyms and like 10 gyms total. You have Ada Lake, which you can run around. And there's a complete sidewalk around the entire lake. 
and then there's forest areas you can run in and there's large parks in New Belgrade and New Belgrade is across the river but you just take a tram um, you can get there in 15 minutes from city center so it's not bad at all if you like to go over to New Belgrade which is see a lot of these streets they're very historical um, but New Belgrade is newer it's more modern it was designed by the communists so everything's really big they call it they um, they have a block number for every block like uh, B L O K they can say block like 7 or block 47 or block 50 block 70 the Chinese store so that's kind of how they navigate around New Belgrade is they just say oh I'm in block 70 or block 50 and then you kind of know where it's at you know they designed this before Google Maps so I think it was pretty ingenious I like New Belgrade I wouldn't want to live there without a car though because it is quite large and quite spread out I almost feel like a midget going there but other than that um, it has very modern you know facilities and everything like that so yeah, it's just like the everyday street scenes of Serbia. And there's lots of markets. You can buy fresh fruit here, organic stuff, milk, not too expensive either. Or you can come here and there's a pharmacy everywhere as well. That's my bank, Raffaizen Bank. They do a very good job in my opinion. And then, here we are at St. Mark's. This is St. Mark's Church right here. So I live about two blocks from here. And I'm gonna go home and edit this video. I'll see you in the next video, bye.